G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to episode number 32 of the FIFA 16 My Player Career Mode series. Before we begin today's episode, I would like to say thank you so much for the amazing support all of you guys have been showing on the channel lately. These series, this one and the Manchester United series, have been getting amazing likes and views and just an awesome response and we are growing very, very well lately. I'm recording these in advance, but we might have already hit 21,000 subscribers by the, time you, uh, by the time you watch this and we've just been having a very good growth period lately, so I'm very, very grateful for all of that. But anyways, let's move on from all the soppy bullshit. Let's get into today's episode. Alright, so we are going to start off today's episode with a training session. We are working on Beat Your Man, Defensive El Rondo, Pass Mastery, Assisted Free Kicks, and Chance Creation. So, as we simulate it here, let's see how our player performs. We get F, C's, and D's, but we do go up on our interceptions. So the first matchup of today's episode is at home in the Champions League. We are taking on Gary Neville's Valencia. So here is our group in the Champions League. We are sitting up the top of it with six points, zero losses, two wins. Valencia sitting in second, but if we get a win here, then we'll basically be flying away with this division. Here is our lineup for this matchup. So it is similar to what we are used to. We are sitting up front with Mario Mandzukic, Sami Kadira in CDM, Hernanez Marquisio in the midfield, Boateng, Chiellini, Isla, and Alaba in the defense. And then Valencia's lineup is as follows. So Matty Ryan on the bench, unfortunately, would have been nice to have a go against our Australian teammate. But they do have Paco Alcacer sitting up front. We did use him and Christian Eriksen as well in our Inter Milan career mode series. Uh, nice to see Eriksen at Valencia. Gaia, good tackle. Here we go. Let's see if we can hit him on the counter attack. It's been a very boring first half. We play a nice ball up the line there to Pereira. He's running. Pereira. Back post. Mandzukic, how have you missed it? Oh my god. Intercepted here. Let's see if we can get something going to kick off this second half. We play that one. Mandzukic passes that one. No, it goes, gets back. No, I shouldn't have passed it. Shouldn't. I shouldn't have called for it. Here we go. We're going to pass that one to Mandzukic. Oh, we make the interception. I'm not trying to sprint because we're almost out of stamina. We cut around that defender. Pass the net. Pereira hits it. Save from Diego Alves. Full time, fellas, in what was an extremely dull matchup against uh, a very dull Valencia side. I just choked on my spit there. But a nil all draw, not very entertaining. I apologize about that shitty matchup. As if they've picked me to play up against Cagli Cagliari, how do you pronounce it? It was like three days after that. Valencia game, and I was almost out of stamina in that Valencia game. Surprised I didn't pick up an injury. No way am I playing that. I'm simulating that for sure. Let's go over there. No way am I playing in that. How'd we go? 2 1 win. Good. <sighs> Far out, lads. Sammy Kadira has suffered a torn calf muscle injury. Six weeks on the sidelines for Sammy Kadira. Not a good uh, sign, because not a good move, because he's been one of our best players this season. So another training session here. This time we're going to be working on our assisted free kicks. We might actually go up in free kick accuracy as well, which would be quite nice. Uh, sharp shooting, beat your man, headers and volleys, and one on two defending. So as we simulate it, let's see how we perform and... We get an A in assisted free kick, so we're now 60 at that, and then C's, D's, and S's in everything else. So the second matchup in today's episode is on the road. It is in the Syria, and we are taking on recently promoted Las Bezia. Here is the Syria table, so we are sitting in first position, only one loss, while Las Bezia, they are all the way down the bottom of the Syria table, two points, so. It would be quite nice if we could absolutely go to town in this matchup, score like a hat trick or something. I wouldn't be too surprised. Like, look at that. They've conceded 17 goals already this season. We have only conceded three. That is telling you something. Here is the Las Bezia lineup, and unsurprisingly, I don't recognize any of these players. I think I might have seen. Oh, wait, Kaita? No, that's not the one from Roma, is it? I doubt it. 
And then here is our lineup. No Sammy Kadira. So Gabriel comes into the midfield. Uh, who's in our defensive line? Bonucci and Chiellini. Pereira up front. Studaro, Marquisio. Decent side. Guess we're going to call for it here. Going to cut around. Go on. Getting past that defender. We hit it. It's saved. Pereira. What a finish there from Pereira. The acrobatic finish after we hit it. And it's off the crossbar and in. We are 1-0 up within 6 minutes. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. We're going to cut around that defender. Hold down the sprint button. Just running into the center of the field. We're going to play that one through to Mandzukic. Get there, Mario. Mario Mandzukic saved from the keeper. Let's see if we can get to the rebound. Yes, we do. We lose it, but we win it back. We lose it again. Passing it here. We bring it down. Pass that defender. Oh, that terrible challenge. Hits it. We score the goal. Once that guy missed that challenge, that gave me so much space, which I was not anticipating. Awesome finish, and we are 2-0 up within 17 minutes. La Spezia on the attack. Rossi hits it. Well saved from NATO. Hussein crosses that one in. Gets cleared away. It goes back out. Oh, decent attempts from La Spezia. Hussein out wide to Azzy Dontelo. They're on the attack, Spezia. Rossi, one day. Back, they hit it. Oh, man. La Spezia actually looking at semi-threatening. Oh, okay. We just got subbed off. I was not expecting that. Um, pretty decent game. Really didn't do as well as I thought we could have, but at least we look like we're going to get the win. We unfortunately haven't been selected to play in this game at home against AC Milan, in which would have been a very good, a very big game. We've been not selected, so let's see how the lads perform. Hopefully they get the win. It seems like we're rocking a relatively weaker side, so simulated, and we go down 2-0. Wow, that's what happens when we don't play. At least, though, it looks like we are now at a 93 rating, so... That is pretty OP. We'll be up there. We're up there basically with the best in the world. We are almost Ronaldo and Messi. A lot of you guys have been pestering me in the comment section about changing my hair. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. I will leave a link in the description to a straw poll. Let me know if you would like me to change my player's hair. That includes facial hair and all. Let me know. And the final matchup of today's episode is away from home. We have picked up our passports to take a trip to Russia. We are taking on Zenit. This is how our Champions League group is shaping, shaping up. So we are three points clear of Zenit. This is a relatively important game. Three points would go down quite nicely. This is the Zenit lineup. So Hulk, Danny, Jav Javi Garcia, uh, Garay. Malafiv, Crescito, pretty decent side. And then here is our lineup. So we are up front with Mario Mandzukic, uh, who is in the back line in the midfield. Gabriel Storaro, Marquisio, Pereira, Chiellini, Bonucci. I think it's the identical side to the one that we played with against La Spezia. Come on, Lichsteiner. What's he going to do? Oh, I overran that one. Goes to Mandzukic. I'm going to call for it. We're going to pass it there. Go on. Studaro hits it. And he misses. Are you kidding me? Oh, what a miss. Here we go. We'll play that one out wide to Gabriel. We're going to call for it. He's going to pass it. Oh, Pereira passes it back. They take the strike. That did not work out how I expected it to. Go on, Lichsteiner. We're going to pass that one. Pereira hits it. Pereira saved. Alaba. Here we go. We're going to pass that one. It goes to Marquisio. Marquisio. He's going to pass it here. Squares it. We hit it. It's saved from Malafiv. Wow, what a save. Zenit on the attack. Danny hits that one just going over the crossbar. Oh, we intercepted there. That one fell perfectly to us. Cutting around. Going to have the strike outside the boot of the post. Mezukic collects the scraps and gives us the 1-0 lead. Great strike from us, big mistake from Zenit, and a good follow-up from Mandzukic. Oh, I think we might have been subbed off here. We've been subbed off a lot lately. Uh, decent game, hopefully the lads can hold on to this result. We are going to get subbed off. Once again, we set up goals 
Not scoring many this episode, but we have seemed to be the assist or the goal setup king. As you can see, we did manage to hold on and collect the victory against Zenit. Anyways, fellas, we are going to wrap up today's episode of the FIFA 16 My Player Career Mode series here. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure that you leave a like on it. And if we can hit over 100 likes again, that would just be absolutely awesome. Make sure that you do subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links, as per usual, will be in the description down below. But most importantly, fellas, I hope you... Have a fantastic day. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.